Now crews are on scene of a first alarm, medical response. Three adults and two children were hurt in this crash. A frightening and fatal collision at the intersection of 18th Street and Greenway just before 9 o'clock last night. A late model Chevy SUV carrying a mom, dad, and two young children eastbound on Greenway, making a left-hand turn towards the family's home on 18th Street when they were hit by a westbound Honda sedan driven by a 20-year-old man. Both vehicles flying up onto the curb and into a nearby wall. The mom and the two children in the SUV, a three-year-old boy and six-year-old girl, not restrained and, according to police, ejected from the vehicle, all critically injured and rushed to the hospital where the three-year-old boy was later pronounced dead. It's heartbreaking. Um, my daughter is only a month older than the little boy, and uh, we're going to miss their presence, his presence. He was a sweet little boy. When these ejections take place, it suggests that the occupants were not properly restrained. Uh, we're talking three years old, six years old. There should be some child restraint systems employed in this situation, which they weren't. Again, the family involved in last night's collision lived just up the street from the crash site. The 33-year-old mom and her six-year-old daughter remain in critical condition this evening. Injuries to the 36-year-old dad and the 20-year-old male driver of the passenger car, far less serious. At this point, police not identifying the people involved. I don't think anyone could come away from something like this and not have empathy for them um, and hurt for, the, for their loss. In addition to a lack of seat belts and child restraints, police also looking at two other possible contributing factors. They're going to take a look at possible factors, including speed on the part of both vehicles and possible impairment on the part of the SUV driver.